exploding stars, distant galaxies, and Earth-like planets, and other solar systems. Scientists have discovered all of this and much more thanks to the Hubble telescope. For about 30 years now, the Hubble telescope has been traveling in space and represents one of the most important telescopes to explore the universe and advance our civilization forward. Butterfly Nebula The Butterfly Nebula is a very special image taken by the Hubble telescope. On the image of the Butterfly Nebula, you can see the end of the life of a star. The name of the image comes from the special constellation of the star dust that can be seen during the explosion of the star that's dying here. The stardust looks like a butterfly. In the middle of the stardust is the star which has exploded and is close to its end. What's special about this image is not only the shape of the stardust itself but also that it provides more detailed information about the life cycle of a star in a solar system. Tadpole Galaxy With the Tadpole Galaxy, we mean a galaxy lying many light years far away from our solar system that was captured by the Hubble Telescope. The special thing about this galaxy is its constellation because the Tadpole Galaxy is particularly imposing and far extended. Another special feature of this image from the Hubble Telescope is that you can see not only the Tadpole Galaxy but also hundreds of other galaxies in the background. Ultra Deep Field The image with the name Ultra Deep Field was taken by the Hubble Telescope many years ago, but in 2014 it was processed again and its quality was improved so that now you can see the many different objects on it even better. Among other things, there are many stars recognizable, primarily in the foreground. In addition, there are many galaxies containing distant and still unknown solar systems. The special thing about this image from the Hubble telescope is that it's one of the largest images of our universe. In part, you can see here the light of galaxies that have already ceased to exist in their constellation. The light in this image is between 400 and 600 million years old. Jupiter's Aurora Jupiter's Aurora is one of the most fascinating images ever taken by the Hubble telescope because it's an image from our own solar system. On it, you can see the northern aurora of the planet Jupiter, which has not been recorded again in such dimensions. Also visible in the aurora are traces left by the satellites Europa, Ganymede, and Io. Eagle Nebula The Eagle Nebula is an image taken by the Hubble telescope containing a large collection of stardust. This again resembles the image of several eagles in space. The accumulations of stardust you can see in this picture don't stand for dying stars but for stars that are forming themselves anew. So what you're witnessing here is the birth and the beginning of the life cycle of numerous new stars. That's the reason why this image from the Hubble telescope has great importance for all scientists and researchers of space. Helix Nebula The Helix Nebula is also a large collection of stardust photographed by the Hubble telescope a few years ago. It is particularly impressive because there is a large blue circle in the center surrounded by reddish stardust. You can see on this image from the Hubble telescope numerous stars whose life cycle is already over or at least approaching the end. Another special feature of this image is that the stardust created in the process is evidently escaping into interstellar space. From this, it's possible new planets will form in the future. Mice Galaxies The name of the picture, Mice Galaxies, originated because of the long tails pulling these two galaxies. These, in turn, are made of stardust, so the two galaxies look like little mice. In the tails of stardust, you can recognize, among other things, numerous stars and planets. In addition, there are also other solar systems in them, systems not yet explored in detail. The special thing about this picture is that the two small galaxies collide with each other, and thus interact. Therefore, this image from the Hubble telescope has important significance for future research. Protoplanetary disks in the Orion Nebula The protoplanetary disks in the Orion Nebula were captured by the Hubble telescope some years ago and definitely one of the most fascinating photographs because here we're seeing the confirmation of a theory proposed in the 19th century. This said that the universe forms itself from circumstellar disks. On the image from the Hubble telescope, 
You can see many of these disks from which actual new planets, stars, and solar systems are forming. These different disks on the image consist primarily of stardust. Galaxy NGC 1300 NGC 1300 is a galaxy photographed by the Hubble telescope. On this image, you can see in detail the size of the galaxy. NGC 1300 is not only a very elegant looking galaxy but also has a special color constellation not seen in many other galaxies. The colors of NGC 1300 are rather atypical. Another special feature of this image from the Hubble telescope is that you can see many more galaxies in the background far, far away. Star Cluster NGC 602 NGC 602 is a cluster of stars which was captured by the Hubble telescope in a very impressive way. The image is not only very beautiful and unique but also shows a gas cloud from which new stars are formed. You're therefore observing the birth of new stars within this image. In the background, you can see thousands of other stars as well. Abel 1689 Abel 1689 is one of the largest images of our universe taken by the Hubble telescope. You can see many different objects from space in this one image. Among them are stars. First and foremost, however, there are thousands of galaxies. Researchers have found that the galaxies in the image are about 500 billion times larger than the Sun in our solar system. For this reason, the Abel 1689 image is a good representation of the vastness of our universe. Cone Nebula The Cone Nebula is an image from the Hubble telescope in which you can see a huge constellation of stars and a large cloud of stardust. This constellation is shaped like a cone, the reason for the name. Around the cone, the radioactive radiation is particularly severe. Therefore, extremely large amounts of gas are released here. At the same time, the ultraviolet light causes the hydrogen-rich material around the cone nebula to appear reddish in the image. Horsehead Nebula The Horsehead Nebula is an image taken by the Hubble telescope in which you can see a huge cloud of gas and stardust shaped like a giant horse's head. The cold colors seen here are mainly caused by the fact that the gas creating the nebula is itself cold. Surrounding the nebula and the image are young stars just forming out of the nebula. This image is also witness to the birth of many new stars in our universe. Omega Centauri The image Omega Centauri was taken in our Milky Way and portrays one of the largest collections of stars known. The special thing about this image from the Hubble telescope is that you can see the full extent of the collection of stars. There are more than 150 million stars in Omega Centauri, stretching over a width of about 150 light years. Carina Nebula Last but not least, Carina Nebula can be counted among the most fascinating images taken by the Hubble telescope. Here you can see one of the largest gas clouds of our Milky Way which is responsible for the formation of many stars in our own night sky. Now for your opinion, we're curious about your ideas. Which of these Hubble telescope images do you think are the most fascinating?